On today's episode of Hearing Tech News, we'll be checking out how to turn your Apple AirPod Pros into temporary hearing aids. So if you're interested in finding out how to get the most out of your Apple AirPod Pros, check out this full video. Headphone accommodations is a new feature which Apple have introduced on their latest iOS 14 update. Headphone accommodations allows you to tweak your music playback and transparency mode on your Apple AirPod Pros according to your hearing loss. The goal of headphone accommodations is to take that audiogram which tells you where you hear well and where you don't hear well and adjust your music playback and transparency mode to accommodate for that hearing profile. So if you're someone with mild to moderate hearing loss or just someone who really just struggles to get a speech clarity and wants some extra amplification, I would highly recommend checking out headphone accommodations on the AirPod Pros. Another really interesting use case I was thinking about is for children with recurrent ear infections, where some months they would hear well, some months they wouldn't hear well, depending on whether they have a cold or whether they have an ear infection. And it may not be feasible to buy hearing it at the time, but they do need some extra amplification. So from initial testing, this three to $400 investment, I think would be a real game changer for those of you with mild to moderate hearing losses or individuals with fluctuating hearing losses who just need some extra amplification in specific situations. All right, let's get into the setup process. The first thing you wanna be doing is you wanna be going into the settings page, going into general, about, and making sure that you're on iOS 14. After that, we want to be pairing our iPhone to our Apple AirPod Pros. So the first thing you want to be doing is opening up your Apple AirPod Pro case. And after a few seconds, you will see that the iPhone will detect it. Press connect. And you will also have to hold the back button. Fantastic. So after a few seconds, it will get connected. After that, you do want to check that your AirPod firmware version is up to date by going into about, scrolling down all the way to the bottom where you see AirPod Pro. And you should see that it's updated to 3A283. If it isn't, however, all you have to do is plug in the lightning cable to the AirPod Pro case, leave it for a few minutes and it should update automatically. Now we want to be creating an audiogram. The two apps I would recommend looking at is either Sonic Cloud or Hearing Test. I personally much prefer Sonic Cloud as it's a lot more intuitive and fun compared to Mimi and is just a bit easier to get through. So just go through all the steps, follow the instructions and you should be good to go. Once you've got that though, you have to go into your settings page, go into your hearing results, click on your hearing test and you'll be able to see your audiogram for your left ear and your right. Once we've gotten into the screen, we want to press export results. And it asks you, would you like to store your results in Apple's health app? And we want to be doing this to enable headphone accommodations. And I want to be going into Apple health. So on the homepage, you can either click on the white square with the heart on it, or you can swipe down and search for health. You should be able to go down to hearing. And if you click on audiogram, and scroll down all the way to the bottom, you should be able to see show all data. So over here, there are all of the audiograms that I've done before. As you can see, I've just completed the Sonic Cloud one and you can just see all your data here. So once you've done that, you can go back into the settings page and scroll down to accessibility. Under accessibility, if you scroll down all the way to hearing, you should be able to click on audio visual. And at the top of audio visual, there is the tab called headphone accommodations. So headphone accommodations are on at the moment and we wanna be creating a custom audio setup. So the headphone accommodation uses the latest audiogram that you've done. Just click on use audiogram and you'll be able to hear the difference between custom and standard. Select use audiogram and you can adjust the amount of amplification that you want. I usually keep it around half, but if you want more speech clarity or you're in a situation where you're just not able to hear very well, you can also bring this up to full volume. Once you're here, you can also scroll down all the way to the bottom where there's transparency mode. You're able to adjust the amplification and also change whether you want 
a slightly brighter sound or slightly darker sound. From Abram Bailey's hearing tracker testing on how these perform as hearing aids, he recommends turning up amplification all the way to the top and making it slightly brighter, which gives the best speech understanding. But from my experience, bringing down amplification a bit more and turning this one down a little bit more is a bit more comfortable, especially when you start out. If after a few weeks you get more used to this, you can turn up the amplification, you can turn up the brightness. But to start off with, I would highly recommend doing it at about 75%. Fantastic. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that there's three different modes that you can select. You can select off which means it just acts like a normal earbud. You can select noise cancellation, which tries and cuts out different sounds around you, or you can select transparency, which you just customized. Another quick way to access this is to swipe up from the bottom or swipe down from the top, depending on what phone you have, and holding down on the volume tab, and you'll be able to swap between these three. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Hearing Tech News with Mark Trong. I really appreciate all your time and really hope this video has helped you get a better understanding of what these Apple AirPod Pros are capable of. I really love that companies like Apple and Uhura are coming out with cheaper consumer options for people who have hearing challenges and need some additional help and just aren't in a position to buy a hearing aid or just aren't ready for them. If you have any more questions about Apple AirPod Pros and how to set up headphone accommodations or any other questions about hearable products, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also be sure to subscribe because I'll be comparing the Apple AirPod Pros against the Nihura IQ Buds Max, seeing how they compare and seeing how they perform in comparison to a traditional hearing aid.